I'm going to show this around to you. Silent recorder. Now, you know who's good at this, though? There's a guy from Australia named Lindsay Pollock. And this guy is incredible at the carrot clarinet. Take a look. So I saw that video a while ago and I thought, hey, maybe I could figure out how to do that. Well, I did. And I'd like to show all of you. Now kids, don't try this at home without parental supervision because I've got some tools here. I've got my drill and I've got a pizza cutter and I've got a, uh, I don't know, carrot, what do you call these things? A peeler? A peeler, a peeler, a peeler, a carrot peeler. So here's how it works, all right? First, you get yourself the biggest carrot you can find. All right, now I found this nice mama right here. And what you do is you uh, cut off the top of it. Your parents cut off the top of it, just like this. All right, not bad, not bad. Then you're gonna drill. Now right here, I have a three quarter inch I don't know, hole saw bit, okay? And what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow me to put in an alto sax mouthpiece. Now, if you don't have an alto sax mouthpiece, you can get these from a local music store. And a huge shout out to Pages Music here in Indianapolis who helped me get this wonderful alto sax mouthpiece. So, you take your carrot, you take your bit, and you drill a hole right through the top. This is pretty fun. Oh dear. Just like that, you see that? Okay, then you put your uh, alto sax mouthpiece right inside. No, kind of got to force it in there, but that's okay. I guess you could go up a size, but then it's too loose. There, just like that. <laughs> we're getting somewhere. From here, you're going to chop off the other end of your carrot. Now, we're going to be using centimeters today, and I want this to be about 16 centimeters long. Now, these are all just kind of rough estimates. Kids, if you want a really great sounding carrot clarinet, you're gonna have to go check out the measurements provided on Lindsay Pollock's website because he's got the exact measurements to really make it sound in tune. Me, I'm just trying to get close enough to get a pretty good idea and maybe to be able to play hot cross buns, okay? All right, good. Now, there it is. I'm gonna now take my 3 8 inch drill bit and drill a hole straight through. Oh, this is fun. You're gonna want somewhere to put it. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> At least it's just carrot juice. Could be worse. All right, let's see how we're doing. 
pretty good. I'm gonna go from the other side to finish it off. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> well, we did it. All right. Now there's a bunch of loose carrot stuff in there, so I'm gonna blow that out. Ugh. Ooh, tastes like carrot too. Just clean that out just a little bit more. And it's a good snack. All right, good. Got a hole going straight through it. Excellent. Okay, now I like a nice clean carrot. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, peel this. Whoops. This is actually my favorite part is peeling the carrot. Now kids, whether or not your parents are helping you make a uh, carrot clarinet or not, here's what we do want. You need to be helping your mom in the kitchen. If she ever has carrots that need peeled and she gives you the carrot peeler, that is a good way to pitch in. All right, nice and clean. Take a look at that. Excellent. Okay. Now, we're gonna put in seven holes. One on the back and six on the front. It'll be just like a uh, recorder. Now, I have uh, a ruler here. And again, these are just kind of rough estimates. If you want the exact measurements, you're gonna wanna go to Lindsay Pollock's website. And I will link all that information below, as well as a video on how to do this. I'm going to make a mark. This time I'm going to be using a 9 inch drill bit. And I am going to mark my six holes on the front. About two centimeters, close to four, a little over five centimeters down, a little over seven. Almost 10 and a little past 12 centimeters. Cut. Change out my bits on the drill. And drill them out. I got carrot juice flying all over the place. Okay, just like that. Maybe give it one more peel to clean it up. There we go. Great. And on the back, of course, I need a thumb hole. There we go. Blow out all that carrot shavings on the inside. Oh, not bad. Okay, just like that. Got our one hole on the back. Okay, now this, the bell of our clarinet, is just a funnel. Throw that in there. Put the mouthpiece on top. <laughs> and there you have it, friends. A carrot clarinet. Yay! See how it sounds.
And there you have it, the carrot clarinet. And remember kids, eat your vegetables and don't play with your food.